Folks, you've made another terrific choice. This is the crude dude himself, Raphael, the muscle of the Ninja Turtles. Oh, man, yeah, Raphael, our personal favorite Ninja Turtle ever since we were both little. Yeah. We've always loved Raphael. Uh, and he's just in fine form here mm -hmm. in an action figure. I don't know if there's another character we impersonate as much as Raphael. I think there's a Raphael joke. Every every time we speak to each other, which is frequently a joke there's for Raphael. Yeah, Raphael up, joke. Yeah. Uh, you know, when he's got this sleazy kind of voice and he sounds belligerent, um, then you know, fucking. He's do? annoyed he about guy. everything. He's a shill. Everybody's going to want to get their hands on these cars. Uh -huh. You recognize that reference. Those Inuashi Gungeon really know how to oh, fight. Oh, deep references here, people. Yeah. All right, guys, this is a wonderful figure. I can't wait to tell you all about it in our more detailed look. Let's take a closer look at Raphael. Here's our closer look at the uh, Raphael figure, the basic Raphael as opposed to the uh, in-costume Raphael. Uh, Raphael's the only character to get two figures in this uh, line so far, but we'll see if that holds true. I guess I'll start with articulation. Um, good, not great. Uh, he's got hinges and cuts at the shoulders, hinges and cuts at the elbows. There's no cut at the wrist. There's a really good ball joint uh, for the neck. Um, you can actually pop the head off pretty easily and switch the heads. That's always really funny. Uh, uh, hips, he's got, a, a, again, a, a cut and a joint. Um, and he's a little restricted uh, by his loincloth, uh, but not too badly. I mean, he can, uh, he can move a little better than Leonardo. And, uh, again, a cut and a hinge at the knee and uh, no hinge at the uh, ankle. Uh, Raphael in particular I would have really liked to have had the cut at the wrist so he could use his size more appropriately but uh, you know I'm not complaining again for a kids toy line there's plenty of articulation especially for the price. For Raphael we've got plenty of great sculpting in some ways Raphael may be the most impressive of the turtles just from a sculpt standpoint. Uh, as we can see let's just start from the top up here we have this really cool bandana that's sculpted with these little ridges at the top, which I really like. Uh, we turn it around and we kind of have this trail leading off in the back. It almost looks like a hair flowing in the wind. Yeah, like a tan cool. hood. Yeah. And uh, back here we've got a lot of great detail going on with the shell. Once again, separate media, separate material, and a separate piece that's just been glued in here for the bandolier. Go to the front. See the bandolier continues. Uh, we have a very veiny and interesting neck. I really like that. It stands out. Uh, the front shell, very, very cool. This is a really standout feature of the figure. Lots of ridges and kind of imperfections uh, sculpted into that front shell. Very nice. Once again, we got bandages all over, and the skin itself is very different and interesting from the rest of the turtles. As you can see, it's a little more reptilian, much more like an ancient dinosaur. Here, uh, the loincloth is, I think, more intricate than the other turtles. Uh, it looks like little separate tassels, but it is sculpted as one piece. There's even a little belt buckle, more bandages and what seems like moccasins down here that he's wearing. More bandages on his feet. As you can see, just stamps on the bottom. And uh, that's pretty much it for him in the sculpting department. Very nicely sculpted and a great representation of the character as far as we can tell. Raphael sports a whole lot of paint applications. Uh, not the most, but certainly not the least. Uh, you can see on the head, uh, the uh, head's actually two separate uh, pieces which are just distinct colors. The bandana, uh, which um, is the only turtle with a, a, a bandana that covers the top of his head. The others have the more traditional look. This is a, kind of a throwback to the next mutation design from the uh, live action, uh, the Saban show from the 90s, which may be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you feel about it. Um, in the movie, he'll actually have a couple of spots of his scalp exposed, which Playmates just didn't paint. I understand, because they're just really minor details in the film. And if you want to that badly, you can go in and uh, put a couple of drops of paint on there or use a green Sharpie. Uh, eyes are painted very well, very clean. Um, the chest is uh, painted on. Uh, it, uh, at first glance, it's uh, it's done so well, you might think it's a separate piece like some of the older figures, but it's just painted on it very cleanly. It almost has the look of, uh, of a wash on the yeah. front chest, which is different than any of the other figures. Yeah, it really but is. But it really is impressive. Um, it looks grimy. Yeah, it is, it's very it's the most subtle piece of paint work yeah. on any of these yeah, uh, figures. Uh, of course, all his uh, bandages and uh, wrappings are uh, painted very nicely. Um, he's kind of split. On one side, they're all white. And on one side, they're mostly red, uh, with one, a little bit of white on the knuckles. Of course, his, uh, the wrappings on his feet and his uh, moccasin-type uh, shoes are uh, painted very nicely. And uh, all the turtles have little uh, um, bits like uh, sculpted onto their uh, um, their blind cloths or whatever you want to call them. But Raphael is the only one who uh, actually has a, a painted belt buckle, so it's very nice. matter of fact, I'd go as far to say as Raphael may be the only figure in the whole line where every single detail is painted besides mm -hmm. those two little dots, you know, on his yeah. forehead, which aren't very big. But everything else, every bandage, every little guard that he's got on, everything has some paint on it. So yeah. I think Playmates probably 
went out of their way to spend some money on a few extra paint passes, knowing that Raphael would probably be the most popular yeah, figure. The big pick just an for, assumption. I, I don't know. For most kids. It just because he weird. happens to be our favorite character. That's 100% of the population in this yes, room. Yes, that's right. So and that's all that matters. Again, he, yeah, he, again, he doesn't have the most applications of any figure, but I think his are the most even. Like, you can see there's a little something throughout yes. the entire figure. So he's a good even look as far as colors go. As far as accessories, Raphael has just his two sides, but uh, that's two sides more than what the disguise Raphael comes with. So as we can see, he holds them really well, uh, very tight. There's no concern about them coming out. Let's go ahead and take one out. Uh, as we can see, the blade is uh, fairly dull, which is you know totally okay. I think that uh, we should all be pretty used to that by now. Shouldn't be a, a problem. I mean, you can always stick it in a pencil sharpener and do what you will. <laughs> Um, Brandon pointed out earlier that you can see the two smaller prongs on the side aren't really even, which is cool because, like he said, it makes it more of a homemade looking device. Uh, as you can see, the sculpting is really nice on the handle. Lots of bandages that are like holding the uh, side blades in. And at the bottom, we even have this little kind of decorative sphere. Uh, it's a real shame it didn't get to be painted gold like it's going to be in the film and on the roleplay toy. But, you know, hey, you take what you can get with these weapons, and no one should be expecting a lot of paint application on the Playmates weapon at this point. Still, pretty nice if you get two of them. And just for a goof, we can take the accessories from the Disguise Raphael, and of course it's the same head sculpt, so they'll fit on uh, perfectly. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good comedy visual. So when, he's, when he wants to be in disguise, but it's too warm to wear a trench coat, <laughs> He just put this on. and Everyone will think it's just this guy who's wearing a green bodysuit. <laughs> yeah, and nobody no suspects one's gonna a thing. No one's going to know any better. Mm -mm. One of the reasons we like the design for the new movie Raphael so much is because he calls back to uh, to a running theme later uh, in the later years of the original Ninja Turtles uh, phenomenon where, um, like all 90s superheroes, uh, you know, Wolverine or Superman or whoever, they became much more... Um, super muscular, much more roided out than they had ever been before or ever would be since then. As a matter of fact, one of the artists most responsible for this has a figure representation right here. That's yeah. Jim Lee. Uh -huh. Who is still, uh, of course, one of the very best comic book artists uh, today. He's working, with, working at DC. Uh, but um, these figures relate directly to uh, his character, Savage Dragon, who's one of the uh, best original characters from the 90s. And uh, actually, uh, his, that book is still going to this day. Um, but uh, this is uh, Jim Lee's uh, idea of Raphael. And I think anybody who is complaining that these designs are too extreme need to go back and take a look. At something like this, you know, just how crazy it was getting back in the day. But you can definitely see the genesis of this, uh, you know, new movie style. This is the, this is definitely the originator of, uh, you know, the the broad concept of uh, sort of a hulking uh, Raphael visual. So that's really cool. Uh, there were a couple other lines um, that used this sort of uh, crazy muscular turtle idea. Uh, Coil Force, which is a really good one where they're articulated with springs. I have a couple of those and I really like them. And uh, then there's another one, Super Mutants, which Jared yeah. is especially fond of. I really love Super Mutants. Uh, the thing is, Super Mutants imagines the turtles as kind of like Japanese superheroes. And of course, if you all uh, are aware of it, there's an anime out there that features uh, the Ninja Turtles as Super Mutants are turning into them. So definitely YouTube that and check that out. It's on here. Um, but as you can see, the interesting thing about these Super Mutant figures is they're all kind of muscled out. And they look more like a man in a turtle costume or <laughs> like a uh, tokusetsu hero who's uh, maybe like morphed into a turtle using some kind of like uh, apparatus or a watch or something. Yeah, like turtle common rider. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you can see his head looks just like Wolverine with a paint <laughs> switch up. Um, and you can see the shell kind of has more of an abdomen thing going on. Uh, down here he has very long legs, more like He-Man legs, uh, shell guards on the shoulders. And as you can see, there's even like metal connectors connecting the front shell and the back shell, which is even more of, okay, this is just a guy in a costume. <laughs> On the back, as you can see, uh, apparently, if this is supposed to still be an anthropomorphic turtle, uh, he's not wearing pants. And there's <laughs> nothing back there. Like, he's just wearing green pants. and uh, There is no turtle rear end. Yep, no turtle rear end in sight. So, uh, pretty interesting. Oh, by the way, he is shorter than him. This was supposed to be a scale comparison, but I got carried away talking about Super Mutants. That's so. all right. Still interesting, and still uh, another example of a muscular Ninja Turtle. That was our review of the troubled brute himself, Raphael. Raphael is... Such troubled, troubled he's, young man. He's a mess. He's a mess. Um, however, this figure is not a mess. You know, boy, Raphael has a strong, strong design in this new movie. Mm -hmm. He's so pumped up and so beefed up. And like we've shown you with the comparisons, it's obvious where that comes from. Yeah. But uh, 
boy, you know, I'm excited to see him in the film. Uh, really excited by the figure. The look is just awesome. Okay. Very few things I've changed about this figure. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think, except for, um, you know, I feel like, um, you know, the lack of the wrist articulation is a bummer because mm -hmm. of the nature of his weapons. Yeah, of course, you know, ankle uh, joints would have been nice. Yeah. So. But, you know, it's for the price point and mm -hmm. for the quality of the sculpt and the amount of uh, uh, paint applications, I can't complain about the articulation. There I is mean, a lot going on here. Obviously, we have sculpt. complained about it. Yeah, but, you know, it's not, it's it's, not, a, it's not deal. a deal breaker by any means. I'd definitely give Raphael four stars. Yeah, five. I think so. He's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think he's as good, you know, um, in his own right as the disguised Raphael. Mm -hmm. It's just that for, you know, for our own comical reasons, the disguise yeah. is just, you yeah, know, the, the top disguise of the is where it's at, yeah. so, you know. But yeah, highly suggested. Uh, you know, I, if you're going to get just one of the turtle figures, this is probably the one. You know, if, if you've got to have a single one to represent the line, this is the one that I would buy. Even if he's not the best of, of the four turtles, maybe um, he's way up there. So this is an excellent figure. Go out and buy him as soon as you can. Absolutely, folks. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Remember, rate, comment, and subscribe and because check out, we are selling out. Check out the rest of our Ninja Turtles videos, folks. Until next time, this has been Brandon. This has been Jared. Fanboys forever. Out of here.